harder to guard, obviously, and I think we knew coming in that there was going to be a lot of pressure and a lot of attention on Caitlin, and I think even in the beginning, there were so many people worried about Caitlin that we got some of those backdoor cuts. Um, Kate was able to get a few, Sid was able to get a few, and so I think that was, that was a pretty good adjustment by us in-game, and I would say... I mean, running the floor, our transition game was pretty good tonight. And I mean, credit to Sydney and Hannah. They're both amazing at running the floor and Caitlin will find them. Um, so I think that went well for us tonight. And just, I mean, when they went to that zone, we kind of struggled there for a minute, but I think it opened up more three point looks. Um, they were kind of spread out, worried about Caitlin up top. And so I think that gives us, we got a lot of one more passes and more opportunities to shoot that three. Is there something about March that makes you more confident shooting? <laughs> um. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say something about March, but I would say my mentality now is kind of just leave it all on the floor. And that's what I've been doing just because I know this is my last year and my last NCAA tournament. And so I want to make the most of it. And I think it's kind of helping me play more free and more loose. And I think that is important when you want to do anything out there on the basketball court. How, how much fun was it to run away from Colorado like that? I mean, you, you had everything go well. Yeah, I mean, I would say it was really fun. Uh, I think uh, the message at halftime was to set the tone in the third quarter, and I think we did just that. We came out and had two quick steals, um, which kind of gave us some momentum and led to us going on a run, you know? And I think that was really important to come out hot in the third quarter and kind of, you know, go from there. And I think we just kept pushing and kept pushing from that from that moment at that uh, start of the third quarter. How excited are you for another shot in LSU? Very excited. Um, we're going to prepare the same way for them as we have all year. Um, it's nothing different. It's, an, it's another 40-minute game, and we know that the coaches will have us well prepared and that we just got to trust in the game plan, and we'll, we'll be fine. Thank you. There, uh, there's inevitably going to be, sorry, there's going to be inevitably a lot of distractions in the next 48 hours. Um, just a few, many of them not having to do with anything basketball related. Um, does this kind of feel like the ultimate test of all the veteran maturity stuff that you guys have talked about all year? Yeah, that's a good question. I think, you know, we're mature enough to know to stay off social media and not really feed into all mm -hmm. that stuff that's going to come up just because it's a rematch game. You get those every year, though. Yeah. You get rematch games. You lose, you lose, and you play the team you lose to every single year. Like, it's it's, it's nothing new. Right. Um, it happens a lot in basketball. I think it's just the outside things, other the things non-basketball related that people will focus on and, kind, you know, kind of try to stir the pot a little bit. But I think... You know, we're mature enough to kind of stay within our circle and not worry about those things and prepare the same way we always have. I mean, is how much of a key is making it what it is and not more of what it is? Yeah, I think it's really important. Considering everybody else is going to make it yeah. a massive ordeal. Yeah, I think, you know, we say a lot, like, keep the main thing the main thing, and mm. that is really going to be true and important in this next game. And I think just staying within ourselves and, you know, if something in the game happens, just kind of going to the team and staying within the team, not letting other things, like, distract us from what we want to do. I think that would be really important. Drive through the smoke, right? Drive through the smoke. There you go. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kevin.